Analyzing the LA case study houses was very helpful. It gave us an insight of what people imagined the future to be like back in 1945. It made me understand what worked and what didn't when it came to designing a house. Consideration of the climate and environment around the building, using instead of wasting natural resources such as light, rainwater, wind, and choosing appropriate materials are key. For the case study house, the Greenbelt house, the thing that I admired the most was the use of greenery. It was used not only for aesthetic purposes, but to use to harvest crops depending on the seasons, or to use as an extension of the house, such as putting a table with chairs, ping pong table, pools. The flexibility of the green space to be multi-purpose was a very fascinating concept for me. This first part of SO2 for studio was quite challenging as imagining what would happen in the future can be so broad, vague, with endless possibilities. I started watching science fiction movies to help me and give me ideas, such as Ghost in the Shell, The Island, Oblivion, Elysium, and so much more. These movies gave me crazy ideas that I started rationalizing and making more plausible. The conceptualization of my Gondwana case study house design was also a tough and long journey. After playing around with different forms and spatial qualities, I chose to direct the form of my case study house towards a more organic one. My design was driven by the cellular structure of plants and how one cell connected to another which was inspired by my cottage industry, the laboratory for plant-based meat. With this began an extensive creative and drawing period, which was very hard for me as I kept going in circles deciding the form and the organization of each space. It was sort of like a vicious loop of constantly changing the design because of unsatisfaction. In the end, I stuck with one major key idea that drove my entire design, which was having the main circulation as a central spine, where the rest of the spaces were all linked to it. My case study house aimed to reinvent the traditional image of a house for the context of the future in 2045. I wanted to create a building that would act as part residential and part industry merged together as a way to challenge the normal way of living. I wanted to offer a healthier, more dynamic and self-sustainable lifestyle where the occupants could produce their own food independently with the intent to minimize waste. Through architecture, my goal was to engage the occupants to be more active in their daily lives and create a house that would be considered as a living organism. To achieve that, I created for the cottage industry a lab that would enable the occupants to grow on the facade peas beans and soybeans that would later be mixed with other ingredients to create organic vegan meat. The house is organized like a cellular manor with different types of spaces. Just like cells have different roles, in my case study house some spaces focus on the spatial quality indoors, some are stacked spaces and some focus on specific views outside. Although they are different spaces, in the end they all merged to form one cohesive organism. This semester was overall very challenging, but also in the end, very rewarding with the colossal amount of work that I have produced. When I look back to the start of the semester and remember my first ideas and drawings for this project, I can see a considerable progression. I feel like I have learned a lot over these past four months and it has given me a new way to perceive and tackle architecture.